Hello, music lovers. Apa kabar? And welcome to VOA Border Crossing, Music Dunia Lintas Batas, bersama saya, DJ Ali Pras. Langsung dari Studio VOA di New York City. Today, we're gonna do something a little different. All right? Gimana kalau kita langsung hang out dengan tiga ilmuwan dari California? But wait, 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 wait. We're not talking about science, atau ilmu kimia, fisika, matematika. Jangan kemana-mana dulu, karena tiga ilmuwan ini jaga musik, bro. Mereka memanggil dirinya sebagai We Are Scientists. Dan band ini unik banget, pemirsa. Sebagai contoh, mereka selalu merubah nama pribadi seperti Turbo atau Phoenix agar tidak diganggu oleh para fansnya. So guys, let's check them out. Ilmuwan yang juga musisi, We Are Scientists. Once every night Another volume just keeps catching my eye I can't keep picking one off every shelf I made a promise it's one in and one out That's why I stopped right where I stood When I saw you I'm trying to get you in bed A million thoughts are racing around my head You know I want you but I'm gripped by this doubt Born on this promise it's one in and one out That's why I stopped right where I stood when I saw you Okay, pemirsa, itu dia One In, One Out from We Are Scientists. Suka nggak? Well, mau lagu ini, ini lagu pertama dari their sixth album, namanya Megaplex. What's funny, pemirsa, adalah bagaimana mereka mendapat nama mereka. Jadi, ini ceritanya. It's actually a really, really funny story. <laughs> One day, mereka sedang menyewa mobil truck, terus ada orang yang nanya, Apakah kamu ilmuwan? <laughs> Hanya karena mereka pakai kacamata. <laughs> Emang unik banget band ini. Anyway, sejak album pertama mereka, With Love and Squalor, dirilis tahun 2005, band ini langsung sukses. Dalam 6 bulan, album pertama dijual 100 ribu copies. Wow! Dan juga banyak fans-fans yang suka and love their personality. Sebenarnya aku juga love their personality. Sampai mereka pernah bintangi serial TV comedy untuk MTV. So, itu dia, We Are Scientists. But guys, don't go anywhere. Jangan kemana-mana. Stick with me, Ali Pras to give you guys more musical treats only on VOA Border Crossing. Stay tuned for VOA Border Crossing.
Well, you done done me, you bet I felt it. I tried to be cool, but you so hot that I melted. I fell right through the cracks. Now I'm trying to get back. Uh, mungkin kuping sakit kan? <laughs> Baru setelah lagu itu kan, itu I'm Yours. One of my favorite songs dari artis iconic Amerika Serikat. The one, the only, Jason Mraz. Artis ini nggak perlu di lagi dong, karena prestasinya luar biasa. Including dua Grammy untuk Best Male Pop Vocal Performance dan Best Pop Collaboration with Vocals di tahun 2010. You guys want to know more? Ayo, ikut ke LA bersama reporter VOA, Vina Buktadi, untuk bertemu dengan Jason Thomas Mraz. Take it away, Vina. Well, here's to the hearts that you're gonna break. Here's to the lives that you're gonna change. Here's to the infinite possible ways to love you. Inilah single terbaru Jason Mraz, Have It All. Lagu yang musik dan liriknya membangkitkan semangat ini adalah bagian dari album baru No yang akan dirilis pada 10 Agustus. VOA bertemu di sebuah hotel di Los Angeles, California dengan musisi yang pernah konser beberapa kali di Indonesia ini. VOA Indonesia with singer-songwriter Jason Mraz. Jason, thank you so much for your time. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks so much for having me. You went to Indonesia a couple times before. Yeah. Tell me three things you remember the most about Indonesia. People. Lots of people. Yes. Lots of... Uh, lots of islands. Yes. <laughs> lots of islands. Beautiful weather. Um, tropical food. Mm. Yeah. Nice. That's what I remember. That's, All right. Those are my sort of favorite things, are people, nature, food. And you also, I don't know if you remember this, but you also sang an Indonesian children's song there called Di Sini Senang Di Sana Senang with yes. your guitar. Yes. Do you remember that moment? A little bit. I remember trying to learn it, yes. It was a sweet moment. love uh, children's songs because I know you grew up listening or watching the Muppets. Sure. You did a um, song for Sesame Street. Right. And you adore Mr. Rogers. Sure. Yes. Um, I feel like the music we're turned on to as kids is is the foundation for, you know, uh, being a compassionate, loving, um, inclusive person. Right. When you're a kid, you play with all kinds of people. You don't know what their political background is. You don't know what their agenda is because you don't have one, you're a kid. And I think it's important to bring that into adulthood or to remind adults that remember, we're all still just fragile children that were that came here to play and, and cooperate and live as one big happy human family. May you get a gold star on your next test May your educated guesses always be correct And may you win prizes shining like diamonds May you really own it each moment to the next Do you believe that art and music can make uh, learning much more fun? Big time, yeah. definitely. Art, when art is added into school programs, attendance goes up. More kids want to be at school. And when art is offered as a class, all of learning improves, all the test scores go up because art gives us an opportunity to use parts of our brain that help the other part of our brain. They help us problem solve and help us c collaborate and um, yeah. Your new important. single, Have It All, mm -hmm. you wrote it um, after you visit Myanmar. Right. What happened in Myanmar that inspired you to make the song? Just the blessing, the blessing of may you have auspiciousness and causes of success, which is a very common um, blessing. Um, I want you to have it all. I just felt that that was so profound. And here in the U.S., you know, it might just be like, hey, how you doing? You know, or have a nice day, which to me is, is nice, but it's, it's just kind of small. And I wanted to expound upon the idea of uh, may you have auspiciousness and causes of success. And I wanted to create a song that could be given to someone for their birthday or for their graduation or retirement. A musical blessing, a musical gift. Like, I want you to have everything. Here's to the fact that I feel 
be sad without you. I want you to have it all. So when can uh, people in Indonesia, your fans, get to you know see you sing that song live in Indonesia? I don't know, mm -hmm. but we will be touring a lot in 2019. So we'll put this album out later this summer, and we'll be touring a lot domestically here in the U.S. And then, starting January of 2019, I'll begin doing a lot of touring around the world. So. Hopefully that will include Indonesia, and most likely it will, because I do believe most of my fans are in Indonesia. So I cannot- Most of your fans? They are. If you look at my Facebook numbers. So you get a lot of like messages from oh, your Indonesia Oh yeah, fans. come to Indonesia, come to Indonesia. <laughs> so there's, of course we're gonna come to Indonesia. I'm yours. Uh, last thing, can you say something to your fans in Indonesia? Apa Kabar, Indonesia. Hello, and thank you so much for listening for all these years. Thank you for your support, for sharing the music, for singing the music, for making it yours. I'm yours, and I'll see you soon. Thank you so much. Thank you. Lagunya catchy sekali ya, nggak bisa berhenti nyanyi. Gawat nih. No wonder lagu itu ada di Billboard Hot 100 selama 76 minggu, 76 weeks. Itu merupakan rekor pada saat itu. Selain Grammys, Jason juga mendapat dua Teen Choice Awards, People Choice Awards, dan Hal David Songwriters Hall of Fame Award. Wow, really, really, really cool, right? Luar biasa. Jason, come here. I want to talk to you. I speak on behalf of all Indonesian people when I say, you are always welcome in Indonesia. So you guys gotta come, you gotta come back to Indonesia, all right? So guys, pemirsa, jangan kemana-mana ya. We'll be right back here on VOA Border Crossing, Musik Dunia Lintas Batas. Hey guys, and welcome back to VOA Border Crossing. Musik dunia lintas batas. Bersama saya, DJ Oli Pras. Oke okay guys, seperti Jason Mraz, band berikut ini mempunyai prestasi luar biasa. I'm talking about Carlos Santana. Santana adalah salah satu best-selling band di Amerika. Lebih dari 40 juta album terjual di Amerika dan lebih dari 100 juta di seluruh dunia. That's a lot, right? Hebat sekali. Dan yang membuat mereka special, mereka nyanyi banyak genre dari Latin, rock, blues, and psychedelic rock. Reporter VOA Larry London sempat bertemu dengan Carlos Santana. Take it away, Larry. I'm Larry London. Welcome to a very, very special edition of Border Crossings. It's not often we get to say welcome to a true icon. Today we have a living legend in our studios here in Washington, D.C., a man who gave us so many great songs, so many wonderful notes along the way, all of the positivity and the and the, the spirit that he brings to a room. Santana's here. Welcome to D.C. Thank you. It's a joy to be here. The first question, I read that when you were growing up in Mexico, you studied violin first. Yes, my father's a violin player, and he taught me how to uh, grab it, how to hold it, how to get, I could never get a beautiful sound out of it like he did. This is why I, I convinced them to allow me the opportunity to let go of that and, uh, and try the guitar because I wasn't as good as he was. Because, you know, it's all about sound, you know, the sound, because your sound is your face. Mm -hmm. You know, that's why I tell people don't use pedals because if you use pedals and people won't recognize your sound, you know. Uh, your sound is uh, like Billie Holiday's voice. It's, as soon as you hear one note, you see her face, it's her face, mm -hmm. you know. So I didn't have a sound in the violin, and so I convinced my father very gingerly to uh, allow me to 
pick up another instrument, which was the guitar. Mm -hmm. And I know that Dad was in a mariachi band, and, mm -hmm. and you were growing up around music. Is that what drew you to music, or was it something else that brought you into music? Well, you know, it, my father and his father and his father were musicians, but I think what drew me to music was I was, even though I was a child, I could see by people's eyes, especially women and children and, and older people, how they looked at my dad with such adoration, you know, and I said, I want some of that. I, I, want, I want people <laughs> to look at me like that. You know, this is really cool the way people look at my dad, like he's, he's the cat's pajamas or something, you know? <laughs> so people just really adore my dad till, he, till he, he passed. So you started playing the guitar, you taught yourself how to play guitar? He taught me the, the basic Damn. chords and, and he taught me uh, how to, as Wayne Shorter would say, how to visit the note. Wayne Shorter said to someone, I won't say because I don't want to hurt his feelings. But Wayne Shorter said to someone, you know, notes are like people. You must visit them once in a while, you know, which is a <laughs> wonderful way to, to, to tell somebody, stop what you're thinking and really, really feel each note and give it all your heart, you mm -hmm. know. Uh, so my dad taught me that. <laughs> Legendary Rock Band. Empat belas dari dua puluh lima studio album yang mereka buat pernah masuk ke Billboard Top Ten. Carlos Santana dan Banya juga dilantik di Rock and Roll Hall of Fame dua puluh tahun yang lalu. Tahun dua ribu mereka dapat enam prestasi Grammy di satu malam. A record that they share with the King of Pop, Michael Jackson. Hehehe. Anyways, guys, don't go anywhere. Stay tuned on VOA Border Crossing for more music dunia lintas batas. Hey guys, you're back with me on VOA Border Crossing, Dunia Music Lintas Batas. Kita sudah bahas banyak artis AS yang perform genre-genre berbeda kan? Walaupun saya suka dengerin genre internasional seperti Latin Rock atau Rock and Roll atau American Country, kadang-kadang saya mau mendengar lagu yang gimana ya? Kurang bule? Kalau gitu, saya kembali ke musik Indonesia ya. So you guys know what time it is? It's Dangdut time! Dangdut mempunyai irama dan energi yang susah di compare dengan tipe musik lain. Dan tahu nggak, orang Amerika juga suka musik Dangdut. Reporter VOA Ian Umar akan kenalin artis-artis Dangdut di Amerika Serikat. So let's go to the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. Hey, pemirsa dari Wilmington, Delaware di Amerika. Beginilah suasana pasar kaget di Amerika di musim panas. Ada food truck, ada buah-buahan, ada tenda-tenda, ada macam-macam. Ada juga musik yang dimainkan oleh DJ di sini. Tapi musiknya biasanya musik-musik dari Amerika. Begitu loh pemirsa. Tapi jangan salah justru di Wilmington, Delaware di sini akan ada penyanyi lokal yang merilis lagu dangdut. Dangdut di Amerika? Yang bener? Kenapa enggak? Musik dangdut identik dengan musik rakyat Indonesia. Jutaan fans musik dangdut ada di Indonesia, namun ketenaran musik dangdut kian merambah dunia internasional. Sejumlah penyanyi Amerika juga merekam lagu dangdut versi mereka. Penyanyi belia Jolina B ini berasal dari kota Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ia merilis single dangdut terbarunya berjudul Dangdut Dance. I really like it. I really like it. I like the beat of the music. Um, although I don't know what I'm saying, so sometimes like if I'm singing like a really sad song, I'll be smiling. Yeah, like, was it so different for you when the first time you listened to Dangdut? It was super different. Yes. 
everything, like in the drums in the background that you can hear, just everything was really different. What drones you to that? Like, uh, then you decided, oh, I, I want to sing this out. Yeah, yeah, it gets me excited. Ini bukan pertama kalinya Jolina B membawakan lagu dangdut. Beberapa kali ia menyanyikan cover version lagu-lagu dangdut dari penyanyi dangdut tenar Indonesia dan diunggah ke media sosial. Sayangku, hari ini aku cantik. Cantik pada bedadari, bedadari di hatimu. Hei sayangku, berkukukan diriku seperti serang ratu. Ku ingin dia menjagamu. Irama musik dangdut yang mengundang pendengarnya untuk berjoget juga mengusik rasa ingin tahu penyanyi rap kota Wilmington, Delaware, Leray Rayford alias LRP. Hasilnya ia merilis sebuah lagu dangdut yang ditujukan untuk berjoget sambil berolahraga, Dangdut Fitness. The process, uh, the process was fun. It was actually um, it was more or less like a comedy video, and uh, we tried to focus kind of on physical fitness and mixing comedy together, along with the uh, the English and, and the dang music. Well, I, um, it was just trying something different. You know, I, I took a step outside of uh, my usual thing. I like to, to focus on comedy, you know. But when you uh, hear the music itself, this dang dude music is, is something that gets you up and moving. Mm -hmm. And I, like I said, I wanted to try something different. So, uh, uh, Kedua artis dangdut Amerika ini gencar mempromosikan lagu-lagu dangdut mereka bersama rumah produksi NSR Entertainment USA selaku produser. Mereka mengunjungi sebuah media komunitas lokal di kota Philadelphia untuk mempromosikan lagu dangdut di Amerika. Dari Delaware dan Pennsylvania, Ian Umar, Laurentius Wahyudi, VOA. Wah, pemirsa, hebat ya! Lagu-lagu Indonesia bisa dinyanyiin dengan orang Amerika. Walaupun mereka tidak mengerti arti lirik, intonasi, dan cengkoknya oke. Okay. Saya aja yang orang Indonesia kalah. Well, I gotta work on my dangdut skills. So guys, that's it for this episode. I'll see you guys on the next episode of VOA Border Crossing. Saya VJ Oli Pras, musik dunia lintas batas. Bye-bye!